boy, he's gonna be mad when I come late. So am I really late or just a little late? I don't know, I'm really late. 35 minutes late to the job. Look, he's already got the hot tub. Hey, best friend. How's it going? Are you okay? Best friend. Best as a friend says. Hey, best friend. Uh, I had um, my, my legs. Oh, my legs started hurting and I showed up a little late and I had some cookies in the oven and I showed up a little late. Uh, but you've been doing a good job. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a sprinkler right there. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> Ricardo to the rescue. Did you get your brakes fixed? Did you get your brakes fixed? Damn. Well, Jamon's been saying he's wanting to get his brakes fixed for like two weeks, right? And they're not fixed. So he went and got it. Surprisingly, surprisingly, he got it fixed. Oh man. See all those sprinklers? Bro, she's got sprinklers all over the place. All right, look. So let me show you the hot tub. There it is. It actually fit in my trailer pretty easy. That's the first job of the day. 300 bucks. Cheap, easy. When I got here, I mean, it took us from that fence right there all the way up to here in there about nine minutes but Jamon was here already for about 20 25 minutes so overall I think it took enough like 36 minutes to complete the hot tub cool thing is we didn't have to cut it we didn't chop it up two three four pieces whatever and then load it we load it in one piece now here's the cool thing about it my 40 yard dumpster is on my property so we're gonna put this right here uh, in the 40 yard dumpster so I'll have an empty trailer again not so bad all right guys I'll talk to you in a few minutes uh, we're going to another stop it's a Totally wood. It's a construction site in Dallas, Texas. We're in Dallas all day. And then uh, we'll show you the third job. Bye-bye. We're back at it again one more time. Uh, this is a $10,000 job right here in Dallas. 10000 What? What are you laughing at? Good job. Yeah, what's, what about it? Can I finish my video now? <laughs> Go ahead, man. All right, cool. So, guys... <laughs> so guys anyway we're here uh so the guy came out a while ago and we're like talking to him and he's like hey the best i could do is six thousand and i said sir i have to charge you at least ten for this and i look over and jamon's like sitting there and he has his hands he's like ten you know ten ten and that's what are you laughing about man you good yeah. <laughs> okay. so that's uh, we're gonna start loading this. See you in a few minutes. It's hot. Don't really want to do this. I'm not gonna do a time lapse. I'm just gonna do. Oh, should I do a time lapse? Uh, I would. I'm going live. No, uh, he's going live. I might as well do a time lapse. Just jump on the boat. You know what I mean? Bye. Oh, I hate doing the time lapse in this price month. You know, doors are expensive anyway. You know, they go. Be nice. We're live. Yeah, we're live. Fucking live after I edit it. Hey, um, all right, here's what we're doing. Okay. This is the ending of our. We. You know, this is life. Our life. It's hard to So here's what's going on. We're going to another apartment complex. It's going to be the next job, and Jamon decided to tell with me because we're going to put the couch right here, right? Here we go. And it is probably one of the worst, I would rank top 10. I would rank top 10 in just hell holes that we've been into. Really? Oh yeah, I didn't want to tell you that. That's why I hooked you. You notice how I hooked you before I told you how bad it was? Hooked meaning lied. Lied, okay. yeah, yeah, lied. Hooked meaning lied. So that's what we're gonna do. We're going right now. Um, it's on the other side of Allen, Texas, and we're gonna go watch whoa, this whoa, shit show. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Where? You said over here. Allen, Texas. See ya.
Hi, Jaman. Let's go. Let's knock this out. We are at job number two. One, three, three, three. Hot tub, wood, Keller. Yeah, Keller, Texas. All right, let's go. Guy said he left the door open. Literally, he left the damn door open. Let's knock this out. Hello. That's it. It's just this. He said it was just bags. He said it was a sauna thing that looks like a sauna thing, a lamp. Let's knock this out. Um, I did ask the guy, he said we can put this in his dumpster. So let's take all the bags over to um, my truck and then I'll back into the dumpster and drop them, okay? So this is all that's in here. This, this, this. I, I'm going to charge him a hundred bucks. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah, so. You'll lift that bag. That one you'll take. I'll take all the bag because that one's heavy and I don't work out like you do. I saw you. No, I saw you. You were lifting earlier. I saw you. That's it. That's it. Let's just take care of this. All right, guys. This is job number three. Uh, we're going to charge 100 bucks. It's nothing. It's a uh, one, two, three, four, this, five. We're charging $24, $20 a bag. And we're dumping it in the dumpster. And a lamp. Two lamps. That lamp and that lamp. Hey, those lamps are nice. I'm taking those lamps for my haunted house. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go to job number four, which is probably one of the worst quarter houses I've ever seen in my life. That'll be in a few minutes, bye-bye. All right, all right, all right. What is this, job number what? Four. Number four, mm -hmm. I'm at job number four. Uh, so I, I went in and peeked in just now. So imagine licking asshole. What? Yeah, and the person asshole you're licking had Mexican food the day before. <laughs> Get ready for this one. One of the worst I've seen. Uh oh, let me ask, man. No. Yeah, you haven't seen it, I just went in for a minute. Here we go. Okay, well, uh, let's see what we're gonna do. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it. Okay. Just, I'm trying to think it out before we start moving stuff. This is a new couch, you just got this couch. Yeah, even though it's got a spot out of it, it's got stuff. Right, right. Okay, let's move this stuff. Let's get the peloton. Oh, is this your peloton? It's nice. Yeah, we can't move it. Well, see, I had cancer, and I have to be able to use it because now I'm coming back. Right. Next thing I'm going to do, so then we'll just... Peloton's giving you a good exercise. I know. I used to go to the gym, but... Yeah. Wow, you can look pretty easily. Oh, man, I, uh... Well, then we're going to do yoga. Why don't you get over there and start... Get come that. back when it's clean again. Yeah, come back. I'm back, back. To being myself. And it's really clean. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's painful. Definitely. Yeah, no, I hear you. I'll do it when you guys are ready. No, no, yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, like it matters now. Ma'am, did you want to move to this chair? Okay, yeah, I will. You just unplug it. Clear. Okay. Yeah, you want to go help her? Go help her. Uh, he'll, he'll help you out, ma'am. Oh, no, it's not me. You sure? Yeah, it's not, it's not that bad. Oh, oh no, no. It was, I just thought it was, if but... you needed some help getting up, we could help you. No, no, I just... <laughs> just grab well, why like, I couldn't walk, you know? Oh, yeah. Because he's got big arms. Show me your arms. No, he's showing off Well, oh, I know. He was trying to tell no, me. He was, oh, he's showing off his arms. You I told him that he probably lives 500. He's yeah, you wrap your there. arms like grab, grab so. like this. Put your arms around her like this. Ah. And just, just grab yeah. Yeah. Come on. Make sure I have to. Okay, whoa. Yeah. That, that. Yeah. Well, maybe we should just move the chair this way. And then we'll yeah. slide you over. Oh, no, no, I can trust me. Oh, no, no, it's not that. It's just no reason to walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. Okay. No, my doctor said I got Just slide in there. Okay. There. Okay. Here you go. Okay. Um, so I'll slide you over. <laughs> Put the pillow. Put the pillow. Got it. Yeah, pillows are important right here. Yeah. All right, do you want to get that chair? 
Why don't you just scoot back here? Back here, he's gonna go grab the chain, he's gonna carry it right out. Oh, right that's disgusting. Please. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's, it's not disgusting, but here. You can put your stuff right on this little yep. table right here. Go ahead, Jamon, pick it up. Pick the chair. Pick the chair up, Jamon. Pick the fucking chair up, Jamon. <laughs> He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Come on, that's not dirty. That she wants that. Hell no. Oh. oh. That's where I had the. When I've been sick, that's where I was sick. Yeah. No, in fact, that's where the throw in a big black bag. Just get rid of it. I'll carry that out. You got it? Yeah, I got it. I'll calm myself down. Okay. The witness is just humiliating. But I'm so proud of myself. So I can go back and live the way I used to live. Yeah, and you know what? I don't have cancer anymore. Hey, get that cover. Get that cover. I want to show them the cover, man. Get the cover. That's it. That's job number four. I'm going to do job number five, number six right now. I'll talk to y'all later. See me. See you tomorrow. Uh, I'm out of here. I'm leaving. I'm going to park. You're going to jump out. You're going to strap your shit down. I, I'm leaving. I have to leave. I got shit to do. <laughs> he doesn't give a fuck. I'm out of here, man. I'm going to stop and get me something to drink. I need to eat something. I have something wrong with me. I'm not feeling right. No, I don't eat brisket sandwich. I'm a salad guy. No meat or chicken. I don't know why I'm saying that on my video. Listen, it doesn't matter. All right, we're at job number four, a new shopping center, a new apartment complex. One of the worst ones, just bad. The whole inside of the house was bad. Uh, I'll see you in a minute. Uh, that is a horror house apartment from hell. All right, so guys, DFW, putting on the hat right here, guys. Boom, number job, number five. Numero cinco, number 505 on the ride. Five, number five, five. We're on five right now. Boom, that's what I'm picking up. This thing has been a nuisance to everybody in the United States of America. So there's also a couch on the other side. But this is job number five. Watch how fast I do it. I lift this. I'm gonna do a lean. What the hell am I doing? Right, there's one. Job number five. Well, I'm gonna charge him 200 bucks for this. Put it in the dumpster. No, no, I don't want to care. They have no reason to care about that. And close it back in. Okay, so let's talk about job number five, what we picked up really quick. Three pallets, one sofa, that's it. $200, I'm out of here. Let's go to job number six. I think that's job number five. One of them, here we go. I want to do a small recap of what I've done today. It is about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, late afternoon, 4.19 to be exact, Texas time. It is Wednesday the 30th, I think it's the 30th. So the first job I did today was a hot tub removal. That was 300. The second job we did, I did it with Jamon, and that was a wood cleanup. We cleaned up a lot of wood. That was 600 bucks. So with those two jobs, I had $900. And then I did an apartment with trash bags in it. I was able to throw those trash bags in their dumpster. That was a hundred bucks. So now I'm at 1100 bucks. The second job was a $200 job, which I gave the deal to the lady because I felt bad. It was just a, a, a couch sofa and a small couch, a little sofa chair. And that was 200. So, so far I'm at 11 plus two, that's $1,300. So, so far I'm at $1,300 for the day. Then I went and did some pallets. I did pallets and a couch that I threw inside their dumpster for 200 bucks. So I'm at $1,500 and then this job is the last job. And we're gonna go look at it. 
Let me get my gloves real fast because I have to take this stuff. I cannot throw it in the dumpster. Here we go. Even though they have a dumpster, I cannot throw it in the dumpster. Are you kidding me? I'm going to throw it in the dumpster. I'm not lying to you. Here it is, guys. Oh, it won't fit in their dumpster. Look at their dumpster. They have a mini dumpster here. But that's the trash I'm picking up right there. And this is their mini dumpster that they have here on the property. Oh, my gosh. This thing is huge. Wow. I might be able to throw something in there. Then I might not. I have two couches, two big couches. This couch will fit in. Oh, boy. Let me see what I can get in there. I think I'm going to throw both these couches in my dump trailer. And then the mattress, uh, the mattress will go in there. And so is that little sofa. These two are going to go in there. And then the two sofas will go in there. That's right. I'm going to knock this out really, really quick. So here we go, guys. Let me do this, and then I'll come back, okay? So here, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna do this job, and then I'm gonna come right back. Uh, I'm not gonna do a time lapse, it's just boring. Let me knock this out, and then I'll start recording again. Here we go. I'm done. I completed six jobs today, not so bad, right? Out of the six, I did four of them by myself, I, I think, or three maybe. Uh, let's do an overview of all the jobs. Okay, so there's people online that will say they do six jobs, but they never show you. I like to do the six jobs, video them, and then talk to you about them afterwards, just to let you know. So let's see, uh, the first job was a hot tub removal. I did that for 300. Second job was all that wood pile that we've stacked up. That was $600, we're at nine right there. And then I did an apartment job for 100. So that's a thousand bucks. So far I've done a thousand dollars. Now, out of that thousand dollars, I paid Jamon four hundred dollars. Okay, but it's cool because after that, I did the hoarder apartment with the mattress, the so—I mean, the two chairs, sofa, and then a sofa chair, and that was uh, two hundred dollars. So now I'm at twelve hundred dollars. I did those pallets and the couch. So I threw the couch. I threw inside the dumpster, and the pallets there in the back of my truck. That I threw in this dumpster. That was an additional additional two hundred bucks. So really, at that point, I'm at twelve, thirteen. I'm at fourteen hundred dollars. Fourteen hundred bucks. Now. I came to this job, which is the sixth job of the day, and I did a mattress, sectional, uh, couch, and a few things, right? Sectional couch, and a few things, sectional sofa, whatever you want to call it. And now, that was 300. So overall, I did 1,200, 1,400, 1,700, $1,700, and out of that $1,700, I paid Jamon 400 bucks. I'm taking home $1,300. Now, here's the great part about it. I want everybody to understand this. I paid Google Ads, Thumbtack, Home Advisor, um, Angie's List, zero. I paid zero. The reason why and how I got these jobs is because of my website. My website is dominant. My website is powerful, and my website is why customers call me. And with that, I want to say if you have a website that's not paying you off and not doing the work you need it to do for you, work on it because it's a huge part of my job a huge part now $1,700 so you don't think so you think $1,700 no big deal no big deal right $1,700 I made today the thing about it is that it's been slow for me this week right today's Wednesday yesterday I made 900 the day before that I made $600 today I made $1,700 wait until Friday I have a $3,500 job lined up on Friday and then that big hoarder house that y'all saw a video of did y'all see a video of that holding up? Yeah, I posted that yesterday. I have that one scheduled for next Tuesday for 5,500 bucks. So we stay pretty busy just because I rank high on Google. Now you don't have to pay for ads, you don't have to pay for Google, you don't have to pay for anything, you don't have to pay SEO, you don't have to pay for websites, all that crap that they sell out there. You don't have to do that if you do it yourself and you build on it. I teach that on my course and I will be teaching that at the 2024 Junk Removal Summit, Summit in Dallas, Texas next year of March. So sign up if you can, tickets are 150 bucks. Hope to see you there, bye bye guys. Are you ready to elevate your junk removal business to new heights? Look no further, the 2024 Junk Removal Summit in March is coming to Dallas, Texas, and you won't want to miss this golden opportunity to learn, to connect, and grow. There's going to be so many event highlights, inspiring guest speakers, networking extravaganza, in-depth workshops, a business boosting tips. You're going to show off your brand. It's going to be an unforgettable experience. I'm calling out all current and future junk removal time to join us at the 2024 Junk Removal Summit in Dallas, Texas here in March next year. And open registration will be coming up soon. So check out the videos for that link underneath there. I will see you there.